right y'all so let's go ahead and get into this hair the hair that I'm using today is by long key hair company on Aliexpress and I have their Cambodian curly hair I did turn it into a unit I only used two bundles for this wig and one frontal and I did bleach the knots beforehand so now for bleaching the hair you're gonna need some bleach of course I'm using the L'Oreal quick blue bleach and I'm also using the Clairol 40 volume developer I will have links to everything that I'm using in this video down in the description box below so be sure to check that out starting in the back I'm going to take sections about this big so pretty small sections and start working the bleach mixture on the hair and then start rubbing it in with my fingers and I'm going to do that across the entire wig it does take a little while when you're doing small sections like this but it is definitely worth it in the end result you get a nice ombre look I'm not going all the way up I'm leaving about two inches at the root left alone for that ombre effect and I do kind of blend out the harsh line where the bleach meets the left alone undyed hair with my fingers as I rub the bleach in throughout the hair ombre bleaching the hair I go in and see if there's anything I need to touch up a little bit maybe go a little bit further up the hair and then I let this sit for 30 minutes now depending on the type of bleach you used and the type of developer you may need to repeat this process so I did do it twice and these are the hair colors that I used I'm using all Adore colors my absolute favorite to my permanent brand I will have all the colors listed down below as well. You're also going to want to have some aluminum foil cut and ready for you. This is going to separate all the colors. So I'm taking sections about this big and yeah, I'm just going to go color by color. This first color that I'm putting on right now, I believe is the indigo blue color. I didn't go in a particular pattern or order, it was kind of random, um, but yeah, I just go ahead and cover the entire section of hair with this one color, and then I fold the aluminum foil to basically cover it and keep it separate so that the colors don't mix together and the hair doesn't touch one another. This is very important in between each section. Wipe your hands with a paper towel because I do kind of go into the hair with my fingers, kind of like how I did with the bleach, to make sure that I'm covering all of the blonde hair. And you don't want to mix the colors with your gloves as well. So I do use the paper towel in between each section. I am using a different dye brush for each color and each color are in all separate bowls. <laughs> About an hour later, I am up at the top right now and I'm just going to finish my last two sections.
this is how it looks when I'm done dyeing the hair. Left this on overnight. So when I washed it out in the morning, I didn't use any shampoo, I did just rinse it in the sink and this is how the color turned out. Absolutely love how it turned out. I'm very happy with the color scheme, the purples, blues, greens, I just love the colors together. Um, I was hoping it wouldn't look too, too crazy. I mean, it's crazy, but it's not like crazy, crazy, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like wearable crazy, for me at least. And yeah, I just love it. I love how it turned out. Now onto styling. I want some big curls for this hair. To start in the back, I have this big section of hair and I'm just gonna cover it with this leave-in detangler spray, which is also gonna dampen the hair because I'm gonna do a roller set, so I need the hair to be pretty damp so that the curls last a really long time. And then I'm using some foam wrap lotion. You can use any wrap lotion or mousse of your choice. I'm gonna take sections about this big and I'm gonna start rolling the hair with my flexi rods. I did all of my rolling under, if that makes sense. So I did them all the exact same way until I got to the very top and I'll show you how I did that. I'm done with most of the rollers and I have this section here that I want to do. So now I'm deciding that I want to do a side part so I'm just sectioning that section off in the front and I'm going to continue to do the back portion behind that bang area the exact same way that I do the rest of the hair. So for the side part, for the last three sections, I'm going to roll them towards the back. So everything else I kind of rolled towards the front pretty much, and now this I'm rolling towards the back because I don't want those curls to be directly in my face, if that makes any sense. That is it for the roller set. I'm gonna let this sit for about a day and a half. I let it sit. All that's left to do is take out these rollers and fluff out the curls, and I am ready to slay in these mermaid curls. Absolutely love how this turned out. Let me know what you guys think down below. Is it something you'll try? What color scheme would you do? You know, let me know the details. Also, if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and 